when venturing into a new area that other public hunters are also targeting. Getting the advice of respected hunters on the strategies and resources that have led them to find success can mean the difference in notching a tag or eating tag soup. These wide open expanses of desert leave hunters little to no cover, which is why many use summer pattern and stands to hunt early season mule deer. With temperatures blazing at over 100 degrees, for me, there is no thrill to be found in sitting in a blind. The ultimate challenge is in a true spot and stock hunt. Your dream western hunt come true right here. Even those deer came in 30 yards from me. It's so awesome when it comes together. There he is. He looks me in the face. Sweet summer rain. To be in this moment right now is like Fantastic. pretty unreal. Absolutely perfect. But we got it done. It's, oh my gosh. Yes, thank you, God. <laughs> As hunters, we often assume, just based off the terrain, that we know where the deer will be. We mentally establish a pattern of movement of the most likely bedding, feeding, and watering areas. This is the beginning point to every hunt. And sometimes, we discover that what we're searching for is actually in a place that we haven't even considered. Instead of bedding in the shade to escape the heat of the day, the bucks are bedding in an area with nothing but rocks and rattlesnakes in the most unlikely spot imaginable, making them next to impossible to sneak up on while in their bed. So here begins my challenge. along this rim rock face to get up on top. 
if they don't come up here, my hope is to figure out where they go in bed so that tonight I have a better opportunity of getting on them when they stand up. There is an old myth that says lightning never strikes twice in the same place. But here, in this moment, that is exactly what I'm praying for. Here they come. Feel your heart pounding. You don't so much as blink your eyes. In stillness, you wait for the perfect opportunity. This is the moment that we live for. that happened. Him and those deer came in 30 yards from me. I mean, absolutely perfect broadside. I can hear across the river, I can hear the brush. I'm going to assume he's in it. Wow. He leapt off of here. <laughs> Look at that, full pass through. I'm just gonna keep following his track down across this creek right here and hopefully he's just on the other side in the brush. He's right here, he's right there, he's right there. Oh my gosh, yes! I can't believe it, this is my first velvet mule deer buck and this was the biggest buck in the group to take one day of scouting and see this deer and to be able to intercept this big buck on his way to bed and those other deer they almost busted us at just it, i mean my shot's perfect everything it just worked out absolutely perfect for a public access area as a western big game hunter this is literally what bow hunters dreams are made of right here this, it does not get any better than this thank you god it is this is unbelievable defying the odds pursuing what is truly wild this is the essence of bow hunting